Hi guys, I'm Rahul from Simply Learn and today we're going to do something very interesting. Today we're going to go through some of the applications of blockchain. Now before we get into it, let me tell you what exactly is a blockchain. Now a blockchain is a list of records or blocks which stores data publicly and in a chronological order. Now the data within these blocks or records are secured using cryptography. They don't have a central authority controlling them. Anyone has access to the data within this network, but not everyone can alter the data and everyone has copies of this data. So now that you know what blockchain is, let's get into this video. Today we'll be talking about blockchain when it's used in supply chain management, blockchain and cybersecurity, how blockchain is used for voting and other applications of blockchain. So now let's have a look at supply chain management. Now let's look at a scenario before blockchain. So there's a delivery boy bringing John his order of apples. Now John thanks him and sees that his apples are rotten and John says that he wants his money back. However, the delivery boy says he can't help since he's just the delivery boy, not the person who created the product. So these problems are the ones that were faced before blockchain. But with blockchain technology, there is traceability across the supply chain. This means that you can trace back to what happened to the product at each step of the supply chain. Blockchain technology enables these transactions to be tracked in a very secure and transparent manner. Now, some benefits of using blockchain technology are that there's a single record policy, which means there's a single record throughout the entire supply chain. There's reduced costs since there's no requirement for multiple records across the entire supply chain. There's eliminating error and less human intervention. Now, the last two points come somewhat in correlation since the less of the human intervention, usually the lesser the amount of error. Let's have a look at an example of a supply chain management. So the product starts from the farm, goes through storage, undergoes food processing, it's manufactured, distributed, given to the retailer and finally reaches the customer. Now in supply chain management, blockchain is able to provide a permanent record, a whole lot of transparency and the ability to validate the transactions that are shared across multiple supply chain partners. With blockchain, the transactions are recorded in a decentralized distributed ledger. Now the advantage of this is that anyone can verify the authenticity or the status of a product that is being delivered. Now, if you want to look at a real life example, you have to look no further than Walmart. Walmart is building a blockchain distributed ledger so that they can connect and track pork suppliers, shippers, purchases and other units involved in its supply chain that are delivering the food product across China. Now, this is done to reduce the risk of data tampering or inaccuracy or inaccuracy. Now, let's have a look at how blockchain helps cybersecurity. Imagine the scenario where A is sending $20 to B. A sends this money and this transaction details are stored in the cloud. Now what if a hacker hacks the data within the cloud and tampers this. He tampers this in such a way that he receives the $20 instead of B. Here you can see the hacker being all smug about it. Now this is the main problem with the current banking system. Now it is prone to cyber attacks because it has a centralized network. This can also lead to fraud as well as data theft. Cyber attacks are one of the biggest threats that the public has to face. However, blockchain is a solution that makes sure that your data is protected from tampering as well as helps improving cybersecurity across a number of different industries. Some of the benefits are that it provides high security with the help of the cryptography that I mentioned before. It has a decentralized storage, quick transactions which take only about 10 minutes and a lower cost as compared to banking transaction costs. Now let's look at the same scenario but with the help of bitcoins or blockchain. Now A is sending 0.0025 bitcoins to B which amounts to approximately $20. These bitcoins are sent and blockchain which is a distributed ledger distributes the data data across multiple nodes within the network and secures this data using cryptography. Another thing that you have to remember is that each node has a copy of the ledger and cryptography protects the data within it against any changes making it immutable. Now imagine a hacker trying to hack the data here. He is unsuccessful because the peer-to-peer -peer connection which prevents data from being altered as well as tampered. Now and finally B receives the $20 in bitcoins. Now for a real life application Mastercard has its own blockchain project where Mastercard is using blockchain for sending as well as receiving money. It also allows the exchange of currency without the need of a central authority. Now let's have a look at how blockchain can help with the voting process. Now before blockchain, a voter would have to submit their voter ID. Their voter IDs need to be verified and after the verification, the voter would submit his or her vote to the EVM or the electronic voting machine. After that, the voting is complete. However, it is possible for the EVM to be hacked since it's a centralized system. This can lead 
to some amount of manipulation with the vote count. However, with a decentralized system like blockchain, it is possible to completely eliminate any scope of forgery as well as data manipulation. Now let's have a look at how voting can be performed with the help of blockchain. Now first the voter downloads a voting application, the voter submits a voter ID and registers for the election. After the verification is complete, the voter has been authorized to cast his or her vote and the voter submits his or her vote without revealing their identity to the public. Now once this vote has been added to the blockchain, the information within the blockchain can never be erased. After this, the officials can count these votes knowing that each ID can be attributed to just one vote. Now with blockchain, voters can also count the number of votes themselves. Using blockchain in the voting process provides complete transparency by eliminating any need for third-party systems to be involved. Along with that, it can also eliminate voter fraud as well as election rigging. It increases the transparency in the voting process and reduces the expense of conducting the elections. Now, in real-life examples, MeVote, which is a token-based blockchain platform, works very similar to that of a digital ballot box. Now, it protects the integrity of the vote as well as protects the security of the election process. Now, this is already implemented in Australia, so it's only a matter of time before this or similar technologies can be set up across the world. Now, let's have a look at some of the other applications. There's insurance, where with blockchain, they can eliminate forgery as well as false claims and real estate where this increases the speed of the conveyance process and eliminates any requirement for money exchanges. So if talking about blockchain and its applications have caught your interest, I suggest we get on to simplylearn.com and check out our blockchain certification training course. Here we provide 50 hours of in-depth learning, 40 plus hands-on exercises with integrated labs, 11 practical projects covering multiple technologies like Ethereum, Hyperledger, Multichain and Bitcoin, flexibility to choose your own class timings, case studies and 24-7 support. We'll be covering technologies like Git, Ethereum, Ganache, Go, Docker, Hyperledger and much more. We'll also be talking about Bitcoin blockchain, Ethereum, deploying smart contracts, hyperledger, blockchain or multi-chain and a whole lot more. So why don't you go on to simplylearn.com and get started on your journey to getting certified and getting ahead. And with that we've reached the end of this video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.